Space, the deadliest of frontiers. The Kerbals of Kerbin, in all their absence of wisdom and intelligence, have asked me, Mr. Sith, to manage and maintain their aeronautical space exploration program. Upon accepting this great honor, I gave them my oath. I, Mr. Sif, shall help Kerbal Kind explore the outer reaches of space while taking all precautionary measures to limit Kerbal casualties. And so begins our mission. To boldly play like no man has played before. This is the Camp Kill Kerbal Space Program. Greetings YouTube, Mr. Sif here with a brand new game that I've never played before, but this game has been recommended to me by so many people I had to play it. Welcome to... The Kerbal Space Program! Now a good friend of mine purchased this game for me and asked me to play it, so here I am. And I am going to warn you now, I have no fucking idea how to play. Um, this is the Kerbal Space Program headquarters place stuff thing where it all happens. And this is the vehicle assembly building. So let's check it out. Now, I am the newly appointed first administrator of the Camp Kill Kerbal Space Program, also known as the CKKSP. And as you can see, we're on the planet Kerbin. And these little green fuckers are Kerbals. Kerbals. Species, Kerbal. Massive-headed semi-intelligent creatures from the planet Kerbin. A bipedal species prone to accident with extremely long lifespans. Kerbals are mostly hairless, with noticeable hair growing from their gigantic heads. Judging from their ability to sweat, it is assumed that Kerbals are warm-blooded creatures. They are about two and a half feet tall, and in a spacesuit, they weigh about 206 pounds. A Kerbal's most prominent personality traits are courage and stupidity, with some showing a rare trait of bad-assness. Kerbals speak a language called Hisynapse, which is a reverse form of Spanish. Due to the recent scientific achievements of Werner von Kerman, the Kerbals are prepared to become a spacefaring race. Still to this day, not a single Kerbin has reached space. Now, this game came out in 2011 and it was developed by a company known as Squad. It's uh, a pretty intense game from what I hear. I don't know much about it other than watching a couple hours of a few channels that showed me how to play. Now, those channels were Markiplier, I think I'm saying that right, who's a big, sexy, deep-voiced re retard. I mean, he's an idiot, but he fucking made me laugh all night long. And uh, another guy named Scott Manley, who's an astronomer, hacker, DJ, super genius. Now, it was two types of people playing. One didn't know what the fuck he was doing, and the other knew everything about physics and rocket science, and he was fucking phenomenal at it. I don't think I'm going to be very good at this game, but, hey, the Kerbals elected me head of the program, so I gotta do this. Anyways... So, let's start it out. Now, I'm playing in ca career mode. And in career mode, you have to earn science points to move up the tech ladder. Before we get any science points, we're going to have to build ourselves a little, a, little, a little rocket to go flying about in the sky. Now, the objective of this game, if you want to call it an objective, is to explore outer space. You could go to moons and planets and orb orbit celestial bodies and whew, do a bunch of crazy shit. And it looks cartoony and simple, but I guarantee you it is not. It is actually a dynamic Newtonian physics-based space simulator. And there is so much to this game. But right now, all we could do is grab a command pod. That's for my Kerbal to sit in. Hey! And we're going to hook up 
a uh, parachute to the top of it because we want our Kerbal to survive his first launch. Now, over here on the right is your stage setup because everything this rocket is going to do happens in stages. Now, the first stage, or the last stage, the landing stage, is parachute! But, before any of that fucking happens, we're going to take this fuel booster, and we're going to put that on our first stage. Hey! And there you go. There you go. The, the, the flying dildo. And uh, we're going to call this the Camp Kill One. All right. Yeah. Look at me go. Hey. Okay. Well, I don't know what else to say other than the game costs $25. You could download it from uh, wherever Kerbal Space Program is located. Just Google that shit. And uh, with all that said and done, let's go on our first mission and get ourselves some, some science points. Launch time! Oh, man. This is gonna be fucking bad. Now, over here in the right corner, you can see our pilot, Jebediah Kerman. Now, he's, he's pretty badass. And he's not afraid of nothing. How you doing, Jeb? Wave to me, you motherfucker. That'll do. <laughs> Anyways, Jeb... I want you to trust me. I'm a professional. I have at least two and a half hours worth of tutorial watching under my belt. And I'm not afraid. I hope you're not afraid. Now, if I hit shift, I put my throttle up. Yeah, Jeff, you love that shit. I don't blame you. And now that throttle's up, we're almost ready to launch. But before we do, excuse me, but I'm going to get extremely technical here and explain the HUD. Okay, up here is something called the thingamajigger doodad thing. That's, that's what it's called. If you don't like that, well, then you're dumb. And down here is the round, bluey, uh, fucking compass thing. This will tell me where I'm going. From what I know is if it goes all orange, I'm looking at the ground, and if it's all blue, I'm going up in the sky. Over here is my stages. Over here on the left is a bunch of other shit. I could hit docking and... And the orbit map. Hey, look. 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 It's Kerbin. Isn't it party? Yeah, there's a moon. And then there's some planets out there. I mean, we could go all over this solar system. But you have to do that with physics and science. Now, our job is to get science points so we could unlock tech. Now, the first thing I learned is, if we want science points, the cheesiest, quickest way to grab some is go on a little extravehicular activity walk here, and boom! Look at that! I'm out of my vehicle. I'm hanging on the fucking ladder. Now, technically, this means I am in low atmosphere, and I could do a scientific experiment here by right-clicking Jebby and doing a EVA report. Boosh! This is the most precarious of situations. I agree, Jeb. I agree. Now, it says I'm flying over Kerbin Shores, and technically I am. Because, you know, I'm above the ground and the planet's rotating, and yeah. So, we're going to keep that data. And then, fuck, how do I get back in? How do I get in, Jeb? Jeb! Jeb, I want to go back in! Fuck. All right, fuck this. We're going on the ground. Boosh! Oh, get up, Jeb. Jeb, get up! You look like a fucking retard. And we're going to walk over here. Come on, Jeb. You're a good soldier. You're such a fucking winner. And we're going to take a soil sample. Take surface sample. Surface is charred and coated with burnt rock rocket propellant. There's also trace amounts of cons conspicuous green substance. All right, we're going to keep that data. Boosh! 
And that's our first mission. Recover vessel. Look at that. We're already getting science, folks. I think. Science summary. Two experiments recovered. Surface sample from launch pad, which was worth 30.0 data gathered, 9 plus 0 science points. Hey. And then the EVA report gave us 5.6 science. Hey. All science together, 14 points. Boosh and or cacao. With that done, time to launch our first sky thing. Uh, Camp Kill is already on the launch pad. Clear the fucking launch pad. Re recover me. Jeez Louise. Alright, boys and girls. This is my first flight. I've never played the game. I didn't do the tutorial because I thought that was a waste of my time. And I'm not sure if I'm going to survive this. Once again, this game costs $25. You could get it for $25, or you could get the free version, which I believe only lets you go to the moon and nowhere else. Well, sky and stuff, whatever. Okay, look, no, no further talking. Let's go, Jeb. You ready? Give me a thumbs up, Jebby. Ah, you're fucking retarded. We're going! Boosh! Now I can use the W-A-S-D keys to fucking do a whole bunch of shit. Tilt my rocket. There, we'll go over here. Oh shit, we're overheating. It's probably bad. Okay. Okay. It's alright. This tells me how much fuel and power I have. I'm almost out of fuel. And we're flying! We're flying, Jeb! You and me, baby! We're going! Oh, we're out of fuel. Now... Now, Jeb... I don't know if you're gonna survive on the way down. But I'm hoping you do. You like that, don't you? Look at you, you silly little monkey. Woo! Our altitude meter says we're fucking real high up in the sky. And we're spinning. We're spinning. I'm gonna speed up some time over here up the top of the left. You can speed time. Yeah, yeah. Now, one of the warnings I got was when you get close to the ground, do not speed up time because that could fuck your life up. So we're gonna stop doing that now. We're gonna hit our fucking boosh! There's our parachute. This should do it. We should survive this, Jeb. This is technically our first mission. I don't count that fucking launch pad shit as a mission. This is it, Jeb. Me and you, baby. Me and you. Now, you get a bunch of Kerbals. And there's only three that uh, have names that are... Whoa. That are distinctive... There's Jeb, there's Bill, and Bob. The rest of the, the the Kerbals are randomly generated names. So those are your three elite officers, your main astronauts. And if they die, you lose them. And we don't, we don't want that. But we're going. We're going down. So as we slowly drift towards the ground, I just want to say that I'm going to enjoy playing this game. And if you guys are going to let me play it, that'll be fucking awesome. Fucking awesome! We could go to the moon together! We could go to other planets! We could explore the universe! We could be swinging on a star! But you guys gotta let me do this. So, if you wanna see me play this game, give me some fucking comments saying so. And, and, and if not, well, then fuck you. I'm gonna play it anyway. Oh! We're, we're okay, Jeb? Jeb's still on the screen. That means we're alive, bitches. We're alive. Jeb, get out there and see what the fuck's going on. Hey. Uh, Jeb. Come on, Jeb. What the fuck? I can't figure out how to... It's Jeb! Alright, hold on. Technical difficulty. Can't figure out how to walk on the ground. 
Okay, I'm technically on the ground. Take a surface sample. Boosh! Yup! Looks like dirt. Well said, Jeb. Well fucking said. We're gonna keep that data. And... Most importantly... Why can't I walk? Can it, can it, can it, there we go. There we go. And in name of our first flight, Jebediah shall plant the Camp Kill flag. Boosh! We declare this area Camp Kill's bitch. And we're going to call this site Camp Kills Bitch! Yeah! And it will say First Flight First Mission First Rape of the Planet Woo! Jeb and Sif our boyfriend and boyfriend. No homo. Oh, I put bot friend. Well, let me fix that. We don't want, you know, this for posperity. Gotta have it historically correct. Okay. Boosh. Look at that, Jeb. Look at that, Jeb. Look at us. Look at us, Jeb. And if you review sample. Yep, looks like dirt. Keep data. EVA report. I don't think the space suit was entirely necessary to get here, was it? Fuck you! And we're good. And that's it. Recover this motherfucker. Boosh! First mission, success. No Kerbals dead. Two experiments recovered, nine more points of science for the Grasslands dirt sample, and another 2.4 from the EVA report from the Grasslands. That's 26 more science points, bitches. And with that said and done, we're done. We're done. That's the first mission. I would like to thank you all for taking it with me, and I hope you didn't hate this. I know it's, you know, not the most interesting thing yet, yet, but sooner or later, we're gonna fucking rape the moon. You with me? Can we go to the moon together? I hope so. This is Mr. Sif from Camp Kill Commentary. Thanks for watching this video. And if you know how to play this game, give me some advice because it's fucking confusing. Thanks for watching. Peace.